What weird turns do you think it should be doing? Sometimes it changes direction. Oh yes, that's just a, called a skid. And then it's just to a dung one there, you see? Look at the fire coming out of it. Really, I really wish it wouldn't do that. It is fast. Remember, it's called a whiz, a fizz whiz. Whoa! Whoa! For many of us, model engines were part of our childhood. And uh, although I've shown you the steam crane made by a South Island of New Zealand uh, model manufacturer, small scale, um, this was what I considered to be my first real engine, which is a real um, double acting slide valve engine um, made by the famous tin engine manufacturer Willesco in Germany, complete with um, water glass, whistle, uh, steering, and all the things that uh, a young boy would expect to find on a proper steam engine. There's not really any modifications a kid would make, uh, because a kid wouldn't make that many, but I have put, as you can see, red washers, uh, red uh, fiber washers in a few places just to add a little bit of color uh, and this um, hemp string was added about 35 years ago so that uh, the driving wheel would have a bit more grip uh, outside because this used to run outside quite a bit I then tried to make engines of my own when I was a kid um, I had no experience with metalworking. Um, this is about as far as I got uh, for a steam car. Uh, and this is about as far as I got for a steam. Uh, it's all been bashed around a bit. When I was a kid, I made this in the garage. This is all brazed. Um, And, you know, it, it could be made into a working engine, but it's just a record of the fun I had when I was a kid. Um, borrowed someone's lathe, made five of these wheels. When a father makes an engine for a son, I think it's a beautiful example of um, passing on the, our modelling hobby. The fizz whiz. midget steam car. The one that I've got was made for Paul McCartney, who he says is the real Paul McCartney here in Christchurch, New Zealand, when he was a kid about 60 years ago, uh, by his father, who was a motor mechanic. And uh, Paul has passed it on to me in the last couple of days for my collection and for sharing on the internet like this and to other kids. I also want to celebrate um, the sharing of our hobby with, uh, with the kids in our lives, or the grandkids in our lives. I'm going to have a link where you can download this um, instructions if you want to have a go. So it's had a bit of an oil and it's looking pretty good. What I'm going to do is uh, put some super glue. Super glue we have. So these um, these wheels are, you know, pretty stuffed. So just to get them to stay where they are, I'm going to use a drop of super glue on the inside where you can't see it. And on the other one, okay, that looks pretty good. And we also need to um, 
make some rubber um, rims for that. This is the best I've got. This is a bike tire. Uh, we need as straight as we can go. Oh, I said straight as I could go. Let's have a look at these. Okay, that'll do, and that's about right. Okay, so, okay, right, let's glue that on there. So, I drop here, and here, and here. Move that around a bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. And the other one. Okay, that looks pretty good. A little bit of a drop there. A drop there. And a drop there. And just move that a little bit. Okay, there we go. So we have rubber wheels. The front, we've got the original ones. Okay, that did that just oh, far out? The fizz whiz, right. I'm going to get some meths, methylated spirits, spirits as we call it. Uh, and some other stuff to get this wee thing going. Now it might be news to some of you guys, but you don't put cold water into a model steam engine. You put hot water in there. You like you boil the water and then you put that in. Okay. Uh, although I'm doing this in sunlight, uh, we've got to figure out how to um, how to get that burner going and actually see what we're doing. The burner itself looks fine, and not particularly deep, it doesn't matter. There's the... Uh, just gonna put a little bit more oil in this um, in this safety valve. So put some oil in the thread of the safety valve and I've also... Um, grease might be better actually. Yeah, a bit of grease would be better, wouldn't it? The grease in the safety valve is to help it seal because there doesn't seem to be any rubber in there. Like a little rubber ring, but I can put that in if I need to. We've used engine oil on the wheel bearings, engine bearings, stuff like that. Uh, we've just got a little bit of assistance from our cat. Here he is. Hey, Blue, how you doing? Uh, okay, I can hear the boiler boiling. And we'll get our meths ready. I might have to do this but in a little bit of a darkened area. Okay, that's nearly full. That is full. Okay. But it's going to burn off or dry off really quickly. So we're going to get that hot water into there now. Okay, that's full. We don't actually want it full. We're going to tip a little bit of that out. Ow. Okay, there we go. Tipped a bit of that out. We'll screw the safety valve in. Initially, I thought it didn't have a safety valve because um, you don't have to have one with a model steam engine of this uh, size and, you know, simplicity. Um, the reason you don't need a safety valve when you have an oscillating motor is theoretically the oscillating part of the engine can itself the oscillating part of the engine can itself 
um, pop off the surface like a safety belt. Right, we're going to pop that in there and light it and try not to burn the living daylights out of ourselves. In the meantime, then we're going to wait for steam up and see what happens. Lighter, lighter, lighter. Here you are. So, okay, that's going. Now the wind is blowing it. I'm just going to close these doors. Yep, I can see that um, burning away really nicely. So I'm going to poke that in a little bit further. Uh, when I looked at this, I thought there's not enough room for air to go in. There's no air holes in the back. And I can see the smoke coming up. I've tried to use a brush to brush as much dust and crap out from everywhere in this engine. I used an old toothbrush, actually. It's gone, gone black with the effort of doing that. Oh, 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 there's a leak. Okay. Not just a leak, we have a um, meths leak as well. So that needs to be soldered. We'll see if it will go anyway. It's getting really hot. I think the fire's gone out, actually. Let's have a look. It has. Hmm. Ah! It's going. It's, it's definitely going. You see by the enormous explosion that that is, in fact, going. I still don't think it's getting enough, getting enough air. Now we've got water coming out of there straight away. Let's see if there's enough pressure to run the engine. I think we better stop there and and fix that a little bit of solder there. Okay, what have we got going on there? See, my eyes are no good, not good enough to see that crack. But in the um, in the camera, I can quite clearly see it. So, yeah need to fix that crack it's not good enough is it uh, not easy at all Right, let's try that again. have a look how much is in there yeah that's fine not up to the top I'm screw that in bolt it up okay that's enough definitely enough I'll just clean up some of the mess 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 we don't want an enormous fire. Okay, 
That's the burner in. Close the bottle of meths in case I burn the house down, which is never a good look, especially on um, especially on a YouTube video. Right, we'll start that up again. It'll be a big bang. Okay, well I can it's building up pressure. And it's airtight. I can feel pressure on that. It's going to get a bit more oil. Quite a bit of smoke coming out now. It might be from the paint. I think this might have been painted sometime in the last 40 years without... Um, I can hear the pressure coming up. Of course, you can never have too much oil. That's my... Um, Okay, so that's that's completely normal. You know you've, um, and that's actually what should be happening. I'll just it's just about going, you know. That's getting really hot, and it's going. Right, let's throw it on the floor out. Miles, Guy, whoa! So there it is, people. Guy, have a look at this. Okay, used a bit of um, reasonably thick uh, foil from uh, inside a laptop, and we're going to uh, hope that that gives us a better burn, a slower and longer and less dangerous burn for our little um, fizzwhiz car here. Fizzwhiz, get into the sunlight. There you are. So, right, let's try that. Take two, fizzwhiz, 60-year-old toy car made by Paul McCartney, Paul McCartney's dad, called Mac. Looks like the burner won't go with that closed so can you see the fire in there i can front one and back one and i can hear the noises the boiling starting i think it needs a little bit of oil maybe Guy, have you seen this running? So that's what the, the burner changed. Uh, How come it's not doing those wet times? I don't know. Well, what weird turns do you think it should be doing? Sometimes it changes the Oh yes, that's just a, called a skid. And then it's just a dung one there, you see? Look at the fire coming out of it. Really, really wish it wouldn't do that. It is fast. Remember, it's called a whiz, a fizz whiz. Whoa! Whoa! Get away, get away! Whoa!
So ballistically overpowered for a little while and then it runs out of um, Yes, you know what? That's beautiful just the way it is. I don't think I need to change that for uh, any particular reason. It's it's as it was made. Um, to for me, it symbolises as much as it symbolises joy in our hobby of model engineering. It also symbolises a father's love for his child and passing down the interest in this kind of thing uh, to our kids, which I've tried. Believe me. I'm not sure that it's worked, but there you go. How cool was that? The Fizzwiz.